Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here, and we are back playing Dead Space. It's time for Chapter Nine: Dead on Arrival. And uh, there's a couple key plot elements that plot elements that I may need to do a little explaining of in this particular chapter, but we'll get to that. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, here we are in the uh, good. You made it inside. Door there. I just found the munitions log for the Valor. I don't think their presence here is a coincidence. They're not on reconnaissance, and they're not on patrol. This ship is prepped for war. They're on a secret destroying mission. Do you hear me? Wow. Isaac, I've lost him again. No signal from Hammond's rig. Find the Singularity Corps and get the hell out of there. Will do. What does this say here? Or storage deck. Okay. Or storage deck. I thought it was just called the Cargo Bay, but I guess it actually technically has a deck name, too. Or, well, no, this isn't the Cargo Bay. That's, that's, that's why. We're going to go to Cargo in Chapter 11. Okay, alright. Do I have any extra nodes right now? I don't think so. I think we just upgraded, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, health is up, isn't it? Yeah, health is full, and we already upgraded our gun almost all the way, too, so... Things are looking good on that front. Don't have any power node doors in this chapter, I don't think. And we're actually going to get a power node. In one instance, I remember that isn't particularly hard to get. Go ahead and pick up the ammo or whatever else there is lying around this room. I'm playing with a really, really bad picture right now because I think that one of my connections is a little bit loose. I was fiddling with it before I started filming, but I couldn't get it to look any better than it is right now, and it's pretty bad. Like, when I look over at my computer screen, and I see what's being recorded, and I look at the television, the difference is striking, and I've got like this all this snow in front of the picture. Hopefully it won't interfere too much with my uh, gameplay, so you guys shouldn't notice a difference. Entering zero gravity. Entering. One of the Valor's weapons ripped open in the crash. Those green orbs you see are highly radioactive, and the Valor's airlock has sealed itself. You're going to have to throw those into space before you can get into the ship. Yeah, so throwing them into space means we need to open up this, uh, port here to the outside. Do we have enemies? I thought I heard something. Not yet? Alright, well. I know that they eventually pop out. They always eventually pop out. Alright, now we're in a vacuum. We need to grab these green balls and essentially just toss them out into space. Not particularly complicated here. The only hard part is that... Yeah, some of them are kind of hard to reach depending on where you are. I, you see, these three I just grabbed just from being around the ground. There's the fourth one. Nice. This is easier than the last time I got it. They may just be random where they end up being. Removed. I don't know if they bounce around a whole lot or not. Apparently there's six. Ah, oh, wow, I got five of them without even shit! Radioactive material removed. Oh, oh, this is not good. Alright. Where are you guys at? Show me your face! Show me your wall face! Alright. Oh, there goes your arm. Hehe. <laughs> Apparently, if they're in zero G, you only have to cut off one of their arms too. I guess that's comparable to, comparable to them like having to hang onto a wall, because if you're in zero G, you're having to hang onto. Oh shit! I didn't even see that guy, man. Like I didn't notice that guy was there until all of a sudden he was right on top of me. That's bad news. All right, all right. Shut up! I need to go refill my air. There we go. One, two, three. One. Oh shit! Look out! Look out! He's going after us. I kind of like this, the the vacuum because it makes things so much quieter. Hey, hey, hey! Quit following me around, man. There goes one arm. There's the other. All right, that wasn't too bad. I'm glad those guys didn't uh, put up too much of a fight. All right, there's the last ball there. I'm gonna jump up to this platform to grab it. There's one thing about Zero G is that because it's a lot quieter, it's a lot easier for me to talk over the sounds of the game. Radiation hazard clear. Safety lock released. But it also means that we can't hear the enemies coming up behind us, so that kind of sucks. Yeah, so the safety lock's open, so now we can open this door here and go into the Valor. Man, we have plenty of time there, even with only upgrading my air once, I think. Whoa. Alright, what we just saw there was a Twitcher. The new kind of enemy that is introduced in this chapter, and they they become a staple for the rest of the game. So, the used to them. For will be in the engine room at the back of the ship. I'm reading massive damage, so you may need to find an alternate route to get there. The stars are ours. Okay. 
I don't know, how do you guys say that? Do you guys say ours or do you say ours? Oh shit, look at this guy. Yeah, they're gonna s try to scare you a few times. They don't ever let the first enemy of a kind it, like just like appear and attack you. They always have to like have some sort of like dramatic introduction sequence. This is actually one of the opening shots the from the first video. Is doing something strange to these soldiers. They all have built-in stasis units in their body armor. The infection is merging the stasis unit into their flesh or something, making them move fast, real fast. Be careful. Yeah, really freaking fast, actually. Would be a more accurate description. These guys can come up on you without a freaking warning. And they can tear your ass up, too, if you're not paying attention. Hey, there's some ammo. That's nice. Now, some of these have the symbol on the side, but you can't actually move. It's only the ones that are glowing that you can move. And we gotta solve a little bit of a puzzle here to sort of slide these all around and I get them out of the way so we can pass through. It's not a very difficult puzzle. It's sort of just like, if something's in your way, you move it. If something isn't in the way, you don't move it. Alright, here's our first picture we actually get to fight. And this is the strategy you want to take. Kill them from a distance. There's no need to get close to these guys. I'm, I'm sure, yeah, you guys are going to get to see how fast they are without me having to let them get up to me, so... Damn it, these guys really decrease your accuracy too because they move so damn fast. Once you got them down, though, they tend to go down pretty easily. I think that guy's faking. Yeah, he's faking. I didn't shoot him enough for him to be dead. <laughs> he only got off one leg. Yeah. They're not dead until you can uh, pick, up their, pick up whatever it is they drop, so... Always be on the lookout for that. Alright, come on now, don't be dodging my shots. God damn it, these guys are annoying as hell. Did I just kill him? Wow. I missed him, I missed his leg so many times I managed to kill him without actually chopping off any limbs. That's kind of bad. Need to be more accurate than that. Stasis is going to be a big part of this chapter. And I don't... Well, I do have a stasis pack left, that's good. Awesome. I'll definitely be using that pretty soon. Because, th again, that, that's where the best strategy to take out these guys is just to use stasis on them and just chop them up. But then again, you can't use it on every single one of them. You don't have enough stasis in your meter to do that. Particularly me. Whoa, did you see that? That was kind of... I don't know if you guys caught that little glimpse there. I'm not going to say what it was. If you missed it, you can go back if you really want. Anyway. Hey, some more credits. That's nice. Yeah, I haven't upgraded my stasis at all. Like, I've only upgraded my health and my air once. But then all the rest of it went into my uh, gun, which is generally what you have to do for this uh, this game, but or at least to play on Impossible. If you were on a lower difficulty, you probably could dedicate a few points to uh, upgrading your stasis' duration and energy. But upgrading its energy means that you can use it more times before you have to like recharge it. Upgrading its duration, of course, just means that it freezes the enemies for longer. Is he dead? Nope! Dang. That's not cool, dude. Oh man, he didn't even drop anything. That sucks. Let me run over here. This chapter is going to be a little bit of a Isaac, weird one. I'm tracking your position, but it doesn't look like I can reach you. This damn ship was nearly shared in half. I made it to the bridge. It's a mess here. These poor bastards didn't stand a chance. I'm going to override all door locks so you can get to the engine room. I'll try and catch up with you there. Awesome. Thanks, Hammond. Overriding all the door locks. <laughs> the door locks! God, I remember that scene from Jurassic Park. I can't remember what he says there, though. Alan Grant, he says something about the door locks. Mmm. I can't remember what the how the line goes, but I remember I really liked that line. Alright, we got the cargo room, and... The I'm supposed to go there, so I'm actually gonna go here first. I get the feeling that this might... Oh, well. Never mind. Open the door's unlocked, but it doesn't actually go anywhere. Alright, I can... I can... Oh, shit. Oh, boy. I see where this is going. What the fuck? Dude, no, 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 no. I do not need black ones in here. I don't need the elite slashers. Or whatever they're called. They're actually... I think they're actually called super slashers. Oh, damn it. Oh, my stasis? Shit. I'm gonna use that stasis pack. Get the hell away from me. Oh, he didn't turn him into... Damn it. Jesus. He didn't... Shit! Get away from me. 